It's the most contentious area of medical research. The use of animals in experiments has, in the past, been the focus of large-scale protests. One of Britain's most important laboratories is in Oxford. It conducts research on every major human disorder, including cancer, heart disease and various brain conditions. A small number of experiments there use monkeys, procedures which have never been seen on camera before. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, is the only journalist that's ever been allowed inside the lab, and this is his report. Come on. A rare glimpse of the most controversial area of medical research. This monkey is on its way to an experiment in decision-making. The macaque is given the choice of two pictures. Tap one and she gets a treat. Tap the other and the monkey in the second cage is also rewarded. Scientists are exploring how the brain analyzes choices that affect others, which could help understanding of autism or mental illness. About two thirds of the work that we do is with human volunteers. But the important thing about the animals is that they allow us to uh, manipulate in very precise ways some of these circuits that we're looking at. That gives us key insights into how some of these areas are going wrong in psychological illnesses such as depression. Most of the research doesn't harm the monkeys. For example, these images published today in the journal Neuron compare human and monkey brain scans. But some of the macaques have been given small brain lesions, so the role of these damaged areas can be studied, something that couldn't be done with humans. Monkeys are among our closest relatives in the animal world, so experiments on them are more strictly controlled than any other species. Last year, out of 4 million procedures in the UK, 3,000 were on monkeys. The vast majority of experiments involve mice, especially those which have been genetically modified to study particular human diseases. These mice have had human genes inserted to induce Parkinson's disease. Others have Alzheimer's or a heart condition. A decade ago, it looked like this research building might never be completed. Construction stopped after intimidation from animal rights extremists. The government stepped in and took over security. Key advisors feel the climate has changed. People are becoming more confident and more transparent about the research and talking about it more, and I think that is extremely important. Every time you take pretty much a pharmaceutical agent, you are actually benefiting from many years of research on humans and on animals. And of course that research benefits animals as well. Hi, Michelle. But those opposed to animal research argue it's not just immoral, but scientifically flawed. Animal testing should now simply be consigned to the history books. We now have modern methods of testing drugs. We have computer modelling, we have cell culture, all of which are much more relevant to the human condition and actually are more predictive. The government is committed to searching for alternatives to using animals in research. But for the foreseeable future, there seems little doubt that procedures involving ferrets, fish, mice and monkeys will continue. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Oxford.